Hey, welcome to What Kenny Do. I am your host, Kenny G, alongside my, well, I don't want to call you co-host after that Halloween episode, so alongside the other host, Press Tech Ninja, 82, and today we're coming at you from Jerry's Leather Shop and Shoe Hospital right here in downtown Marion, Indiana, and what are we going to be doing today? We're going to be uh, learning a little bit about shoes. A little bit about shoe repair, and it's Men's Health Awareness Month, November. So if you're on your feet all day, this is the episode for you. Let's go inside. All right, we're here with Mark Lobdell, who is the owner of Jerry's Leather Shop and Shoe Hospital here in Marion, Indiana. And tell the people what you do here, Mark. Uh, main purpose is we uh, fix shoes, purses. We have a pretty good retail selection of hoodies, wallets, belts, hats, shoe care products, that kind of thing. So if people have leather concerns or leather issues, this is the place to be. This is the place to bring. How long have you been open here? This place has been here since 1984. Jerry started it in 1984, right here. And he, he passed away. My dad bought it, then sold it to me a year ago. Your dad sold it to you? Mm -hmm. He didn't just give it to you? Like, here you go, son. No. Oh, okay. Doesn't That's work. messed up. Shout out, Barry. I'll give your dad a shout out there. What a bird. What do you do most down here? Is it shoes? It's shoe repair, yeah. We've been doing lots of orthotics and uh, like to let people know that we make really good orthotics and they can really help their feet. So for somebody like me that doesn't know anything about that, what exactly do you mean by orthotics? They fit inside your shoe and help your foot. They support your... So it's sculpted to your own personal foot. Yeah, it's actually formed to your foot. Heat molded to your foot. Okay. And then trim to fit inside your shoe. Heat molded, so you're getting all like tech savvy on this. It's 350 degrees. Oh, nice. Yeah. It feels nice and toasty warm when you put your foot on it. <laughs> so you're saying Dr. Show ain't got nothing on you? Not a thing. Yes. No. Eat Not that, Dr. Show. Yep. Now, November is National Men's Health Awareness Month, and you wouldn't think shoe repair would be tied into that, but it actually is, right? It is. When you wear good dress shoes, you have your you wear your heels down, and that can end up causing pain in your feet and your knees and your hips and basically all the way up, and getting that getting those heels repaired alleviates it. Which is what we're going to show them today. Which is what we're going to show them today. simple as your heels. Yep. Which everybody knows you usually wear down the outside. Outside edge of your heels. Everybody thinks they, they're the only ones in the world to do it, but everybody does it same and we live in a throwaway society now this so is everybody's true. quick to throw their shoes away but you shouldn't do that should you no sir you should bring not them in that. and get bring them redone in. that's right and mark's going to show you how to do that or show us how to do that yeah you ready to learn i'm ready ready to learn all about the orthotics so first thing we're going to do is what we're going to tackle some men's heels right yep we'll national men's, men's health month yep. health awareness month got it i think national men's health month is june okay and men's health awareness month is November. Is November. Which I don't know what the difference is, unless in November you're just supposed to be aware of it. Well. And in June you're supposed to do something about it. I don't know. If you want, let's go. I'll make you guys aware. Nice transition. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we are back in the back of Jerry's Leather Shop and Shoe Hospital. And Mark Lobdell is going to walk us through the process of getting new heels. Something as simple as new heels on a men's pair of shoes will make you feel better. Help back pain, knee pain, hip pain, whatever kind of pain you're experiencing. And what do you got here? I've got a pair of uh, men's Bostonians. And as you can see, the heel's worn down. Everybody says, like I just said earlier, everybody says they wear it down right here. And they think they're the only one. They're not. And what we're going to do today is take this off. There you go. Take that off and replace it. And... This, this customer actually walks his over on the other side as well. If you can see that right there. Oh yeah. He walks that over there too. That's, so. That's, you don't really see that too much. Not very often. I'm gonna plant some hopscotch. It does, maybe. Hopscotch, maybe. maybe. Some double maybe. dutching. Yep. But anyway, so, so this we're gonna hook him up. So this is a relatively easy fix then. Oh yeah, super easy, super easy. Do you know real quick what they call a person who fixes shoes? A shoe fixer? No. Mm -hmm. Is it a cobbler? Ah, uh, you did some research before you came down here. Thanks, Adam Sandler. There you go. Hey, that was a good movie. Now, what do they call somebody who makes shoes? An, uh, a shoemaker. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go with shoemaker. Mm. It's called a cord wainer. Are you serious? Yep. A, right. that sounds like a dirty word. I know it a does. A cord wainer. I, I know. Keep it clean, people. Cord wainer? Cord wainer. Cord wainer. Start using that. You stupid cord wainer. <laughs> What did you call me? <laughs> <The> shoemaker. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna walk. We're gonna get walk through this process real quick. All right. So what I've got. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put it on this. Give us a solid base to pull it off, and you just get under there like so. Okay. 
and you just work it off. Now what holds that on there? Is that just like glued? It's just glued on, yeah. Um, this base that, what I'm taking off is called the top lift. The base that it's attached to is, looks like a, basically compressed paper. So we're done with that. We take this one, we do this same thing. Okay. Now how long do those top lifts normally last? Like that probably came from the factory, right? It did, it did. It, it, it all depends on how much and how frequently you wear them and what you do when you wear them. I mean, if you go, I don't know anybody that's going to go running in them, but you go running in them and they're not going to last near as long as, you know, your everyday business office type stuff. There. So now all I got to do is sand these flat. Okay. We'll put the new top lift on and be back in business. Okay. basically just sanded that flat. I just sanded this flat. Um, these nails that, that you saw sparking and making all kind of pretties um, are the nails that actually hold the base onto the shoe. And the manufacturers count on that tiny little bit of nail to hold this on with, with a coat of glue. I don't like that. So we're gonna do it right. And I'm just gonna put some glue in here Spread it around, so. Now, uh, what kind of glue is that you're using there? This is cyanoacrylate. Okay. Quadlanger, or what'd you say, quadlanger? <laughs> cyanoacrylate. Cyanoacrylate. Otherwise known as super glue. Okay. <laughs> but don't use super glue yourself, because if you don't know what you're doing with it, you can really mess up your shoes. And this is a activator. It activates the glue quickly. Um, When super glue comes into contact with leather, it makes it really hard. It fills in all the pores, and that's not something you want to do because the next time you, your, your shoe tries to flex where you've put that super glue, all it does is crack, and then you got a big gaping hole in your shoe, and nobody likes that. So you got to be careful where you're getting that super glue. Then. Yep. I mean that center locker snicker Nate. Yeah. That, that synthetic snickerdoodle. Yep. Basically, I, I just would advise people just to bring it to me and let me let me do it because I've done one or two. So you get it set on there, straight. So that's a. This is a top lift. Okay, a top lift. Yep, and they're bigger than uh, they're oversized for different size heels. You know, not everybody wears the same size shoe. And then once that dries, you just basically trim it. And... Once it dries, you trim it off finish the edge and you're back in business so, which this is to the point now I can trim it and by the time I'm done with this one that'll be ready so that's that pretty quick then yeah yeah especially with the with the activator that I put on it so well we're ready for the next step let's do it
All right, so just like that, brand new heels, huh? Yep, brand new heels. Show them the finished product. What you what you do there? I know you put a new top lift on. Put a new top lift. This is called the top lift. Glued it on, finished the edges so they look nice. Put a little tooling mark around the edge to bring it as close to factory original as we can and give them a little coat of polish on there just to make them look that much better. So these Bostonians, they're ready to get back to their business dealings. Right, back to the business, yep. He can get back to hopscotching. Yep. Now you said something earlier about custom orthotics. Yep. So somebody needs, which is basically the insole, right? That goes into well, the shoe. Well, it's an insert that goes into insert the shoe. Insert yes. goes over the insole? Or yes. Is, okay. Now you do those here. Yep. And you're going to show the people the process for that. Yep. Because a lot of people hit you up all the time about those. All the time. And that's your big money maker here. It is. Custom orthotics, if you're having bad back pain, bad hip pain, what else is it good for? Um, it helps alleviate plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis. Yeah, don't try it. Just don't. <laughs> don't try it. <laughs> That's okay. If you have a corn or a callus, I can relieve some of that pain by cutting some of it out and, and relieving the pressure on the corn or callus. I can modify it if you if you walk with a inward or outward, you pronate. I can wedge that up to kind of help straighten you up a little bit. It's not a, it's not a cure all for everything, but it'll help. So you're kind of like the shoe doctor. No. No, I'm not worthy of the shoe doctor. No, no. Oh, that's sweet of you. We're going to check out some custom orthotics and see how those are made real quick. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Good, that's showing my cat scratched hand. <laughs> cat scratch fever. I can Photoshop some tats on there. Or can you? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> do a little cobbler hammer on your hand or something. Oh, there you go. Do the double cross hammers. Cord wainer for life. Cord You can be a cord wainer. I won't be no damn cord wainer. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just putting them on here. Yeah. All right. Try those on. Okay. I got them trimmed to fit inside your shoe. Molded to your foot. Ooh, feels good. Yeah, feel good. Feel like I could do some dancing. Well. Me and Mrs. Ninja. There you go. Yeah, feels nice. No pain in here. Nope, nope. Now it feels a little tight to the toes. Is that normal? It is normal. And after you walk on them for a couple of days, the the white portion of the, of the orthotic will compress down under where your toes normally sit inside your shoes. Okay. And you forget you got them on. Awesome. Hey, thanks so much, Mark. Hey, not a problem. Very cool. Not a problem. Remember, if you ever put them in a different pair of shoes because they are interchangeable, yep. take your factory insoles out first. Awesome. Oh yeah. Oh, you're gonna die. I'm getting you're, out of here. You're ready for your next your next hip hop video. 
That's you know the next one's gonna be rapping and dancing. All righty, that's just about it for today here at the Shoe Hospital. Uh, I'd like to thank Mark Lobdell for showing us how to do new heels on men's shoes and custom orthotics. Yep. Uh, let the people know how much custom orthotics cost. They uh, start at ninety nine fifty one, and if I have to do any modifications to them, they're just small in increments from there. And the process is about how long? It takes about 45 minutes, and you walk out the door with them. Okay, and, wh and what's that material too? That's like a special... There's, there's two, um, two materials. The white material is um, Valera, which is a open cell polyurethane. And the black layer, which, is, which forms the base, is Plastizote. There, rigid Plastizote. I had to think about it. Plastizote? Plastizote. Okay. We got a lot of new funky words today. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna need to like do a little glossary or something, cross-reference, so we know what the hell we were talking about today. I like it. Yeah, I noticed you got the Doc Shoe shirt on. You got Doc SRI. Shoe. What is SRI? I know it's shoe something, right? Yep. Uh, yep. Go ahead and tell people about that. That stands for Shoe Repair International. That's a, it's a Facebook group that is composed of uh, strictly cobblers. We share tips and tricks and show off our work a little bit on there. It's a great bunch of guys. They have taught me a lot. And I've been doing this for going on eight years and I learned so much from all of them that um, it's an invaluable tool that we have just to do a better job and, and give a, a, a better product. So not everybody gets an SRI t-shirt? No. So we couldn't have one because we're not? Not unless you come work for me. We're not SRI official. Well, I mean, it's sad, but I understand. Okay. Well, SRI would like to shout them out. Um, is there, who leads that group? Is there a uh, No, I don't think. There's two or three admins. Um, Steve Dudakley and Tony Piccoli. Shout out Steve and Tony. Steve and Tony. But there's uh, men and women from all over the world. Yeah, they're out there. People are doing shoe repair. They say it's a dying trade, but not really. They're not, still around. Not really. As long as people are aware that we exist, they use us. So, and now you know, if you're watching this video, they exist right here in Marion, Indiana. But uh, they're here Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, Yep. Saturday, 9 to 1. Right. And Mark Lobdell, he's the owner here. Make sure you come in if you have any problems. If you're having hip pain, back pain, foot pain, knee pain, Sometimes it's tied it's to your just, shoes. Just that, sometimes it's just that simple. Flip them shoes over and look at them. If you got a little wear and tear on them, bring them down here. This man will take care of you. Just like you did a breadstick. How you feeling? Feel, feeling good. You ready to do a new hip hop video? I'm ready. And we really appreciate it. Hey, thank you much. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate Thanks, it. Mark. Thank you. And we'll see you in two weeks. Thanks Peace. to all you cord swingers, cobblers, and prosates, and shoe enthusiasts. Peace. Mic drop.